Um, I have a video uh, that will be offered as a promo later uh, in the day here uh, with 50 of my business boot camp tips, which are not all embedded in this presentation today, 10 of my TV shows. But I'll let you see some of the shows. They're li really tiny shows, but I think you'll find there's a lot of points in there, too, you'll gain from. So uh, that being said, <laughs> let me figure out how to do this, and we'll be good. How many, uh, I just want to see a show of hands, how many people are familiar with SWOT analysis? Okay, there's a good show of hands. When people hire me as a consultant to come in and start a business or to grow a business, one of the very first things that I, or my classes that I teach at the community college, one of the very first things that I do is talk about SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunity, threat. What I find why people fail in business is they don't have a good perception of what their business is, why they're strong, why they're weak, what the opportunities are, and what the threats are. What do I mean by all that? If you can articulate this, this is the foundation of a business plan. It's the foundation of a marketing strategy. It's the foundation of why you become successful. Um, this is a typical one off the web. But it's an interesting scenario, and I want you to think about this as you do your different things to develop a business. So when I do marketing, and I'm doing marketing consulting, I help businesses put together a SWOT analysis, all right? And a SWOT analysis is basically looking at yourself and deciding how you articulate your existence and your potential for success. I ask people in my college classes, Antoine's in the back there, and I'm picking on him again, He's one of my classes, he's building businesses, he's in real estate, he's got some very clever ideas, I'm not gonna tell you any of them because they belong to him. But I'm asking all my students who are business owners to come back in and articulate why you are what you are. What are you that makes you successful or do you think you can be successful? Here's a t case in point where you have somebody that says, I have a great reputation, I'm strong because I have loyal customers and I'm a market leader, whatever that product is. There's an opportunity for that person, I'm just, going through this with you for a moment. I want to expand to a new larger location. Um, I had a lady who had a dance studio that wanted to go to a bigger dance studio and she felt she could capture more business by going to a larger location. Um, I, want to, uh, I want to buy local competitors, uh, I want to go, I want to be buy local competitors to increase revenues and sell business and start a new career. Well, that's interesting for a SWOT analysis. You want to go somewhere else based on where you're strong here. This person says, look, I'm a small business, I'm weak. I do under 200,000 a year. My profit margins are too low. I'm losing too many employees. And they're saying my threat is low-cost suppliers are opening up. Employers are starting to own the company. Um, they're starting their own company, economic slowdown. In order for you to become successful in what you do, you have to articulate what you do and why you're strong. If you can do that, then you can, whether you're not-for-profit, I've had a lady at an organization was not-for-profit, trying to figure out how they got the message out to the community. It was about crime and how they, are, they work with crime victims. And the question was, they said, we got the greatest solution here, but nobody knows about us, all right? And we have to somehow figure out how we articulate uh, what we do in the market. So one of the things that I really challenge you and encourage you to do is think very seriously about a SWOT analysis, doing something that helps you to pull together your business, and what this becomes is part of your business plan. I walk people into banks to get loans. I help people write plans to get loans. I'm successful at that. I work with the banks, I understand the banks, and I understand what they're saying to me, that in order to give a dollar out, you have to convince them, A, why you are passionate, why you believe you, su you can succeed, and why you are going to do well. In order to understand the market, you have to understand the demographics of the market. Well, what do I mean understand the demographics of the market? Anybody in this room can be successful if you know where the target is. If you can find the target, then you can succeed and you can hit the target. What I mean by that is if you think about business and you think about St. Louis and you look at it as 17 counties and you look at it as to what's out there, the first thing you should say to yourself is, what's obvious here on this, on this chart? Anybody? Small. Well, there's obviously more small than there is big, right? There's 2.8 million people population between the contiguous counties. If you're going to attack the market, there are databases out there to help you attack the market. And how you attack the market is you define your attack plan. Time for another story. 
Uh, computer company, $1.5 million a year, five employees doing high-powered computer consultant, keeps hiring salespeople, and the salespeople aren't working out. They bring me in as a consultant, and they said, do a sales attack plan. And a sales attack plan is a plan where I help people figure out what the target is and how you're going to get there. What do you think the most painful thing is in surviving in a tough economy? What's the most painful thing you've got to do every day when you get up that you have no choice, that you have to